So, I mean, I definitely don't hate Kelvin Benjamin at his ADP and where he's at. I, I definitely don't hate buying Corey Coleman at peanuts by any means. You got Kelvin Benjamin out there talking shit about what him and Cam and the Panthers and should have never been on the Panthers and would have been way better off had he been drafted with a more accurate quarterback and a more knowledgeable quarterback and throwing hay. Just had to, had to get some stuff off his shoulders here. So... Nah, mm-hmm. I, I kind of respect the guy for that. Good for him throwing some he's shade in a at contract camp. year. Is that is that why? Here? I'm not 100 percent sure what his contract situation. Well, he must be right. I got it right here. Well, big yep. Kelv. He's a free agent next year, so he's like, don't knock me for my numbers last year. <laughs> or the you know, year well, I guess last year was all with the Bills. I mean, he had he caught nine and seven touchdowns respectively the first two years with the Panthers. I mean, yeah. almost. Had a thousand and eight yards his first year, and then nine forty one his second one, which I think Cam was hurt for some of that year. Yeah, so I mean I don't know where any of this stuff from Kelvin Benjamin's coming from, but we've all it's a little talked unwarranted. To, we've all talked about whether or not Cam Newton's accurate or not, and if you want to talk about Josh Allen not being accurate, Cam Newton hasn't necessarily been super accurate in the in the NFL. No doubt. Right. Um, well, that's what I mean. Cam Newton didn't didn't blow his ACL ACL out. Kelvin did in the preseason, but he comes back the next year in 2016, and Cam Newton gave you enough chances coming off your ACL to get 900 yards and seven touchdowns. Yeah, you know, right. wasn't that bad. What? What he had going on? That's Kelvin. what I'm saying. I don't What's think it was about? as bad as I mean. He, I, I, I mean, there's no doubt about it. You go the the Panthers have never been a throw it all over the field team. And it, yeah, it's kind of funny. People want to say when Kelvin said this, people either loved it or hated it. And the best season that the Panthers had while Kelvin was on the team was the year that he blew his ACL and he was nowhere to be found. And then Cam Newton goes out and becomes the MVP. They go to the Super Bowl. So, you know, this is neat. It's just kind of a whatever type thing. It doesn't matter for on the field stuff, but it's just a kind of a and his sideline stick mic in my face and then all of a sudden like casey said just had some stuff to unload off his chest i mean you, you yeah i mean there's no no debating cam's accuracy versus a top-notch quarterback it's not there but also with his legs he stresses the defense to a point where you you know you're a six foot five man he's found you plenty often yeah right and and he what well, he was traded like right before the season started right and mm-hmm. he and he, no, he played a couple games for carolina didn't he no no i don't, I don't think, think so, so. Um, I'm and then sure he tore he tore he did he did it was a did. couple weeks in it says, it, it says he has 14 games of Buffalo here but yeah that does that's not all Buffalo he tore his meniscus in the first quarter of the first game with the Bills um, they they acquired him at the trade deadline um, but he played through that meniscus injury all season long and then had surgery in the off season so but that was early enough hopefully that he's he's fully recovered from that and he's practicing fully. The last blurb was that he was practicing fully at OTAs, so he's healthy, getting a good training camp in. I don't know who's going to be the quarterback of this team. I mean, his ADP is, what, 131, so that's that's pretty late. When we were doing these mock drafts, he was available in the 10th round, and I, 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 at one point we were doing one, and he was there, and I was like, you know, I don't I don't hate taking a stab on Kelvin Benjamin here. There's some touchdowns to be had sure. for sure. And he the, played six games with Carolina before he went to Buffalo. But yeah, there's definitely. I mean, he's he's as far as opportunity goes and target share and value and how much you're paying for him. He's one of the you know most uh, I guess ratio wise, you're going to get the most bang for your buck on a Kelvin Benjamin pick. Mm-hmm. And he's Corey going, Coleman could be right there too. He's mm-hmm. going two spots behind Tyler Lockett, four spots behind Rashard Matthews, six spots behind Cameron Meredith. Right, and I mean he's pretty much the number one yeah. everybody else is number two three well right. up to this point before they got Corey coleman they had nobody to right. even call a number one i mean a number two basically um so kelvin benjamin gets some uh gets a running mate here with Corey coleman and you know zay could, jones has had a less than desirable off season so that's not that's great true. for him any interest still in that guy though I mean, same thing. I mean, I think I think the value is going to go way down on him if it hasn't already. You, just let it keep going down. Again, you want to talk about because there's no chance. I'm sorry to cut you off for just they did a second, activate but, him, but there's no chance now with Corey Coleman, Kelvin Benjamin. Well, they're not with, supporting all those guys. That's what I'm saying. There's no chance that Zay Jones is going to unless one of somebody gets hurt or Zay Jones becomes the guy. Like there's with with a rookie quarterback who's breaking into a 
unproven offense situation. They just got rid of Tyrod. They, they're they're trying to change. That's why they wanted to get rid of Tyrod because they were like, well, this guy isn't our long term starter. Let's change stuff around. Insert Nathan Peterman here. Oh, that didn't work. Tyrod right. was really hold. He was the glue that was holding the thing together. We need a complete reboot next off season. There's no chance Zay Jones and Corey Coleman. And this is there's way too many quote unquote mouths to feed now for anybody to really be you know. Right. And people were crushing Zay Jones for the, for the catch rate last year, but it was I think you were getting similar things as to what was going on with Corey Coleman. Like I'm not saying that uh, Zay Jones didn't drop some balls and wasn't in the right spots at some times, but I mean you were also getting a lot of balls that weren't necessarily in the window of opportunity to be easily caught balls for a NFL rookie wide receiver, and I, I feel like he got thrown under the bus a lot. Sure, uh, for that, and I'm not I don't love Zay Jones by any means, but I think Zay Jones could potentially be a serviceable player for your for your squad here. I don't, obviously, I don't think it's going to be this year because I don't think that the quarterback situation can sustain Agree. I got Zay that Jones. many players. I got but. him penciled in as a roster clogger on short bench league right now, but I, I got he's not somebody I'm going to forget about. Yeah. Yeah, I really liked him coming out of college, and he just... Love I mean, the character, but it hasn't been good. Balls Char- were inaccurate. It, 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 it's, they, they knock him in for that drop percentage, but it wasn't the best targets that he was getting out there. I mean, it was a lot of uncatchable balls that he wasn't getting. And then obviously he had a terrible offseason and smoked some of that fake marijuana or something, kicked through a window of a hotel room, busted his leg up and had some surgery. But now he's back. He's practicing. So I don't know. I mean, he's gonna his ADPs at 185 is probably going to keep falling with, with Corey Cl- Corey Coleman coming over, mm-hmm. he's got to be pretty cheap. I mean, you could probably acquire him. For oh, he's got to be what real cheap now. It's going down, 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 like you said, Big Co. Mm-hmm. Third, fourth round pick. I mean, I bet somebody would give him to you for that. <laughs> Just take Here, take him, him. him. Take him off my team. Right. FFPC League's probably too short of a bench to to be messing with. But Yeah, if Corey the- Coleman, Zay Jones are probably not on many of my rosters for FFPC. Right. Let's talk about some targets with Kelvin Benjamin's value real quick. He goes to midseason, he goes to Buffalo questionable offense situation over there bad knee trying to figure this thing out gets seven targets three for 39 and a touchdown his first game so he shows up you know three three catches for 60 yards the second week then he goes against philly which one of the better defenses in the league last year maybe their their defensive backs weren't the best but they're all their front line on defense was giving quarterbacks fits so this kind of surprised me. But on 13 targets, we go back to potentially having volume here, 9 for 99. Next week it was 4 for 58 and a touch, and next week it's 4 for 100. And then, you know, a bad game and a 6 for 77, and then a really bad game last week of the season when they just got shellacked by the 49ers on the road. And, you know, I don't know, just kind of turning it in. But, no, they beat the 49ers on the road, excuse me, 23 to 3. Um, so uh, there's, you know, there's – there was heavy volume with him last year down the stretch when the Buffalo Bills picked him up. We'll see what Corey Coleman does to right. the target distribution here for Buffalo. But until the Corey Coleman came around, you were looking at you know eight to twelve targets a game for Kelvin, and it still may be ten targets a game. But I still think he's going to be your big time kind of number one guy. But Corey Coleman definitely helps or hurts the situation a little. But you got to pay some attention to Corey Coleman. He's oh, going yeah, down I'm, the field. So I'm, maybe maybe things get a little bit easier with, with for Kelvin. I mean, it was a tiny bit. I don't know. Maybe he doesn't even see the field. But I, I think Kelvin still – I don't know that this does much for me for Kelvin Benjamin's value. Like No, I don't think it does too, too much for me for Kelvin He's already Benjamin's really value. cheap, and, and maybe you don't like him. Maybe you're a hater. I've always kind of been a hater. He's a Florida State guy. But, I, I mean, I can't deny what he – what he can do and what he has done. So don't hate the player, hate the ADP, and I right. definitely don't hate the. ADP. I like the ADP. So yeah, 